Bonds will be across the border in the year of odd 16. The people of Columbus still hear him riding through their dreams. He killed 17 civilians, you could hear the women scream. Blackjack version on a dancing horse was waiting in the wings. Tonight we ride, tonight we ride. We'll skin old Ponzo Villa, make shafts out of his hide. Shoot his horse, see it's a laywise. His 27 brides. A free range West Texas odd ad hunt for big rams is something I've always wanted to do. My buddy from Midland, Jeremy Almagger, was planning a trip with outfitter Carl Brosig on a place called the Long X Ranch, south of Kent, Texas, in the Davis Mountains, and I could not resist joining him. I got my good buddy Jesse Balboa to meet me in San Antonio as I left Corpus Christi. Jesse was gonna run the video cameras on this trip. We took the scenic route on Highway 90 up to Marathon and the Alpine, and then we cut up to Fort Davis, and eventually to the Long X Ranch after a 550 mile journey. We spent about an hour glassing before we found our first sheep. We spotted them over 1,600 yards away, and when we moved in closer to check them out, we actually saw a second band of sheep that had five nice rams in it. We then decided to loop around a ridge, come up on top of where those sheep had bedded down, and make our stalk. Leave my teeth there in a jar. You don't need no teeth for kissing gals or smoking cheap cigars. I sleep with one eye open. We've got celestial stars tonight we ride, tonight we rode. Our stalk was made extra challenging because we did not want to spook the first group of rams. We had to get around them and get onto the big boys. We put the spotting scopes on them and what we saw got us pretty excited. Tonight we fly, we're heading west to the mountains and the ocean where the eagle makes his nest. If our bones bleach on the We'll consider ourselves when we dropped off the ridge to find the five big rams that had bedded, they were nowhere to be found. They had slipped away undetected, and we spent the rest of the afternoon in vain trying to locate them. Some of the other hunters actually did see those sheep, and that's where we picked things up the next morning. After a three hour climb on the second morning, we were all poor in sweat, but we were excited because at the top of the ridge, we were finding fresh signs of sheep. We found two dust wallows complete with tracks and some fresh droppings. At one point, I even thought I caught a whiff of sheep. We had stopped under one of the few shade trees in the area when guide Rob Brosig came back real excited. He had just peeked over the ridge and he could see some rams. We got ready and then we started bear crawling through a field of Spanish daggers and yuccas and we got set up across the canyon for a 232 yard shot. The sheep were still completely oblivious to our presence so we had ample time to get the camera rolling and to put the glasses on the sheep and start judging the rams. We could see a total of seven rams. The three middle-aged rams had joined up with the four mature rams, but there was a fifth mature ram that we could not find. However, there were some really good rams in the group, and it was really an awesome experience to watch these rams from relatively close as they went about their morning activities completely oblivious to our presence. My hunting rifle is an old Husqvarna 270 that my granddad gave me when I was 14 years old. I shoot the 130 grain Barnes TSX bullets when I know I'll need great penetration on big game. After I graduated and was working, I did update Peepaw's old Leopold scope with a new Zeiss. As I looked across the canyon at those rams, I felt like that Zeiss was money well spent. 
Now Jeremy already had an SCI gold medal ram to his name. When he offered me that first shot, I did not argue with him. Jeremy was several yards off to my right with his 300 wind mag trained on that band of sheep. Our plan was for him to shoot second and hopefully bring down a second ram. Several of the smaller rams had already fed over the bluff. As the big rams got up and started moving that direction, I knew it was game time. My ram had just hit the dirt when another ram came running out of the brush. Jeremy got on the ram real quick and made a good shot four seconds later. If you look closely, you can see the vapor trail of my bullet and Jeremy's bullet hit their mark. Reload, reload, reload. Stay on that sheep. He's rolling down. Stay on the sheep. Keep watching. Keep watching. Size, come here. Come here, Size. They're both down. <clears throat> Keep watching your sheep. Just stay on him. Nice shot, Jeremy. Yeah, good shot. Full stride, wasn't it? Smoked him. He's moving across. Yeah. yeah. I got both of that on film. It was just wide enough where I got both of that. One is over in the brush. One is in the brush? Yeah. Woo! You got them both on film, too? Yeah. Did you see dust coming down the, the hill? He looked wide as shit to me. That slice is almost on that yeah, ramp. We'll know if he's dead or not here in about three seconds. Slice. Slice the Wonder Russell could not resist the chance to go sniff some blood and try to get her own ram. She's about to chase those two that are going. Oh, the damn rat. <laughs> your dog just got, your dog just got hooked. Joe and Rob Brosig sure wished we had one more hunter in our group. Slice had bait up a pretty nice ram and kept him around for several minutes. You never go home out in the mountains of Rivoleon. Out in the mountains of They ain't got no margaritas here. Unless the warehouse paying up. 
They got liquor in the grocery stores And it's as cheap as the roads are around And I know a good place to find a bad man And he can get you whatever I can Here it's easy to forget where you're from Out in the mountains of Louisville I'm sure glad that Slice left that ram alone before she got to Mexico. Earlier that morning, Jeremy and I each found a horseshoe on the trail as we hiked up the mountain. I told him that two horseshoes was double luck to get two big rams. Luck definitely smiled on us. We had two great rams, two happy hunters, two proud guides, and one tuckered out Jack Russell along with a pumped up cameraman. I was still running on adrenaline when we finished up the three hour hike back down the mountain through the heat of the day, packing those sheep out. And I got time for one more song. And I know a good place to find a bad man. He can get you whatever I can. And you won't mind if they bury your bones out in the mountains of Rivoli. My ram ended up taping just a fraction under the 30 inch mark and Jeremy's brute that had erupted out of the brush taped in at 32 and 3 quarter inches. That's just the way hunting goes sometimes. If you want to go hunt big odd ad rams, I could think of no better place than to go to that big country out in the Davis Mountains. Across the river in the summertime It rolled right on down the plain Took to living in a northern town Where nobody knows my name